As of July 2025, a claim continues to circulate across social media platforms, regional defense forums, and military commentary spaces suggesting that a Pakistan Air Force PAF JF-17 Block 3 fighter jet used its onboard electronic warfare EU, suite to successfully jam the radar system of an Indian Air Force Rafale fighter jet during a reported aerial encounter on May 7. This alleged event has been the subject of much debate and analysis within defense circles, with some asserting that it signals a new milestone for Pakistan's indigenous fighter development program. However, as of now, there is no confirmed or independently verifiable evidence from either side to substantiate this claim. The assertion remains based largely on unverified social media posts and speculative commentary, rather than on any officially acknowledged military documentation or credible defense analysis. The JF-17 Block III is the most advanced version of the JF-17 series and represents a significant technological leap from its predecessors. Among its most noteworthy enhancements is the addition of a Chinese-made KLJ-7A active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, a highly upgraded cockpit with a wide-angle holographic head-up display, and a modern electronic warfare suite designed to give the aircraft better survivability in contested environments. The electronic warfare system, in particular, is a key feature relevant to the current claim. It includes radar warning receivers RWRs, self-protection jammers, and digital radio frequency memory DRFM, based deception jamming, features that are essential for any modern fighter aiming to survive and dominate in an environment shaped by advanced sensors and electronic systems. From a theoretical and technical standpoint, such a system could be capable of jamming or interfering with enemy radar systems if certain conditions are met. Electronic jamming, broadly speaking, comes in different forms, most notably noise jamming and deception jamming. Noise jamming works by overwhelming an enemy radar's receiver with large amounts of radio frequency energy, making it difficult or impossible for the radar to detect genuine targets. Deception jamming, by contrast, attempts to mislead the enemy radar by altering how it perceives a signal, possibly making the aircraft appear to be in a different location or moving at a different speed. Either of these techniques, if executed successfully, could theoretically disrupt the radar of an adversary aircraft, including a Rafale. However, the technological possibility of such jamming does not confirm that it occurred during the specific May 7 incident, especially in the absence of publicly available supporting evidence. A successful jamming action against an advanced aircraft like the Rafale, equipped with the Thales Spectra Electronic Warfare and Self-Protection Suite, would be a major achievement in the field of aerial combat. The Spectra system is among the most advanced of its kind and is specifically engineered to protect against radar tracking and jamming attempts. It uses a combination of radar warning receivers, infrared missile warning sensors, active jammers, and decoys to create a highly survivable electronic profile for the Rafale in modern combat environments. For a JF-17 Block III to successfully jam such a system, the jamming would have to be extremely well coordinated, ideally supported by real-time threat assessment and target-specific modulation. Furthermore, success would likely depend on a range of factors such as the distance between the aircraft, the power and directionality of the jamming signal, the radar frequency in use, and the speed and maneuvering of both platforms involved. These are highly complex and variable battlefield conditions, and without hard technical evidence, no firm conclusion can be drawn. It's also important to note that no official sources, either from India or Pakistan, have acknowledged such an event. The Indian Air Force has made no public statements about experiencing radar disruption, electronic warfare interference, or system malfunction related to its Rafale fleet. Similarly, the Pakistan Air Force has not officially confirmed that its JF-17 Block III aircraft engaged Rafale jets or used its internal EU system to degrade their capabilities. In the context of military and geopolitical communications, such silence could be strategic, or it could simply mean that the event did not occur in the way it is being described online. Moreover, no credible international defense organizations or monitoring agencies, such as the International Institute for Strategic Studies IISS, RAND Corporation, Jane's Defense, or CIPRI, have published any analysis or reporting confirming or even acknowledging that such radar jamming occurred. Even independent analysts who specialize in open-source intelligence OSINT, who often provide near-real-time analysis using satellite data, flight tracking, and radio frequency monitoring, have not presented any evidence supporting the claim. In fact, many defense observers have remained skeptical of the assertion due to the lack of physical or technical proof. One must also consider the modern information environment and how military-related narratives are shaped. In today's digital ecosystem, 
Claims of tactical superiority, advanced capability deployment, or victory in battle can serve multiple purposes beyond conveying factual accuracy. These claims can influence public opinion, boost national morale, shape regional perceptions, or serve diplomatic ends. It is not uncommon for unverified reports of battlefield success to be amplified through social media networks and then taken up by sympathetic or agenda-driven media outlets. While this does not necessarily mean that every such claim is false, it does underline the importance of relying on verifiable data before treating such reports as fact. Another factor that contributes to the complexity of verification is the sensitivity of electronic warfare itself. EU operations are inherently stealthy, and their effects are often difficult to observe or measure in real time. Unlike the visual confirmation of an aircraft being shot down or radar footage of a missile intercept, jamming and counter-jamming operations take place in the electromagnetic spectrum, which is not visible to the naked eye. Proving that a specific radar system was jammed, let alone attributing that jamming to a specific platform, would require detailed logs from both the aircraft involved and ground control systems, along with mission debriefs and electromagnetic analysis. None of these have been released to the public in relation to the May 7 event. While the JF-17 Block 3 is equipped with modern electronic warfare systems and is theoretically capable of executing radar jamming under certain combat conditions, there is no confirmed or verifiable evidence that such a jamming event occurred against an Indian Rafale on May 7. The claim remains in the realm of possibility but is unsubstantiated. No official military documentation, independent technical verification, or credible analyst reporting has been presented to support this assertion. As such, it should be approached with caution, and not treated as a confirmed operational fact until credible evidence becomes available through official or independently verifiable channels. The scenario remains technically plausible but unconfirmed, and in the absence of hard data, it is best considered an open question rather than an established event.